Hello, good morning. This is Siva Devaki from uh, Mass Miller. Um, thank you so much for joining the webinar today. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, a topic that's uh, uh, quite important for uh, most of the customers as uh, we have noticed that uh, sometimes it's confusing to really figure out um, the specific uh, Mass Miller um, email event records and the suppression records and you know how do you really find them. Um, so I thought maybe it's uh, uh, good to really uh, schedule a quick webinar on this topic. So I'll talk about how to create the list view so you can identify the specific uh, records for the events and suppressions. Uh, it's actually quite easy. And at the same time, um, you know, you have to know certain uh, event types uh, that's uh, important. And at the same time, you also need to know how to create a list view. Uh, it's a standard feature in Salesforce. In fact, uh, not that uh, you know, Mass Miller created something. So all you need to do is uh, just go to the respective summary pages. Um, and you just have to apply the filters, um, you know, as per the need on those uh, uh, fields, and which I'm going to talk about which fields are those uh, for the respective objects, Mass Miller email status, uh, or the Mass Miller suppressions. I'm sure you must have noticed these two tabs, Mass Miller email status, uh, which actually captures the uh, email events in Mass Miller. And the mass mail suppressions actually captures uh, the suppression such as unsubscribes and stuff. Uh, so these two are uh, the ones that I'm going to talk about. Um, and rest of it, uh, you know, uh, I think it's not that you really have to uh, know specific uh, field uh, information. But for these two, I think uh, you have to know what fields you really need to apply those filters on and what those uh, values may be. Uh, so let's take a look. Uh, so by now you know uh, the email status would uh, capture the events, right? And uh, uh, you know when you send out an email, uh, you may get uh, events such as uh, process delivered, open click, unsubscribe group, unsubscribe, bounce reply. Um, these kind of events is what you typically see. And uh, also there's a a type field called um, you know if at all you get a bounce, hard bounce, or a soft bounce. Um, this field captures uh, the type field, uh, whether it is, um, um, you know, uh, if, it, if the type of value, uh, the type field value is bounce, which means it's a hard bounce. If the type field value is uh, block, then it is actually soft bounce. So if you want to identify uh, which one is uh, the hard bounce and soft bounce, this is uh, in the way. But we do have a, um, a formula field as well. Uh, to find out which one is a hard bounce and a soft bounce, just to let you know. Uh, but I think it's important to kind of uh, find out uh, what those various events are. Uh, that's why I kind of mentioned that here. Um, and then uh, suppressions, uh, again, um, mainly uh, you want to know what the suppression types are, right? Uh, so the suppression type field uh, ha can have various uh, values. I've listed out uh, those values here. Uh, if it's a hard bounce, yes, it becomes a suppression unsubscribe, group unsubscribe. Um, this is uh, mainly for the actual emails that you're sending out. Uh, and then um, uh, spam report is another one, which I missed out. Uh, it is spam underscore report. Uh, and then if you are using the verifier, uh, so the invalid, uh, spam trap, do not email abuse, these ones also get uh, suppressed. So you can... Um, Identify which one is invalid, spam trap, do not email abuse by, uh, again, um, you know, filtering the uh, suppression records by the suppression type as well. Uh, so these are, you know, the predominantly is what you're looking at. And anytime, if at all, you have any um, question, what you could do, you could just do a blank uh, search on this records, and then you would find these values for these fields and, and then you can filter it from there uh, just in case if you're not sure what that specific uh, value should be for these uh, uh, fields. So let's just uh, quickly take a look at it. <clears throat> I'll start with the uh, email status. So once you go to the mass mail lightning app, so you go to mass mail email status. Uh, if you're in classic, then you would go to mass mailer classic though. 
And if I do all, so it actually list out all of them. Uh, so this is another way for you to figure out uh, what those fields could be. So select fields to display. And how do you actually create a list view? Maybe I should start from there. So when you go here, mask my email status. Uh, so most likely you would just see recently viewed uh, if you're not defaulted or if you've not you know, uh, pinned uh, a list view. So then you would actually go here. This is the icon gear icon. Uh, this is the list view control. So all you need to do is click new. Uh, and then this is gonna actually give you, um, you know, a way to create a list view. Uh, so here I'm just saying, um, uh, let's just say um, all records, just for the sake of uh, testing. And if you want everyone to see this, you can stay, you can say all users, or if you want to see, uh, like if you don't want to see, uh, if you don't want others to see this, then you can just say only I can see this. So this is quite simple. And just say save. Uh, and what I've done, I've not really applied um, any filters other than the standard filter that you see here, my mass mailer email status. Again, you would want to select all um, so that you can actually see everything. And then you can apply filters by clicking on this add filter. And then you can select those values. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, there, there's a, a even field, right? and they got to be a, a type field. These are the two that I mentioned, but there are other fields as well that you can actually um, try to filter on. But this is, these are the two important ones. Uh, so all I'm gonna do is I would not apply any filter for now, I would just go save it. So what I've done, I've just created uh, a list view on mass mailer email status, did not apply any filter other than this filtered by owner. Now, uh, my goal is to actually just go uh, select fields to display. So this is what I'm gonna do, select that. And here, if you wanted to actually bring in certain fields, uh, such as bounce type, for example. And if you want to bring in, say, which record it belongs to contact. Um, and then email also is fine. Uh, and then even for sure, and even time for sure. And then uh, you can um, bring in other things such as uh, leader if you're using that object um, and then any other object that is related, say for an example, reason uh, and the type for sure. So I would bring in those fields for now and uh, I'll actually push this down, uh, the contact and everything. And these two, I'm gonna push them up. Uh, bounce type, I'm gonna push it down. So let's push, push this up, type, event and type, event time, reason bounds type. And you can always bring in other fields such as the subject and you know, the many other fields that you have. Uh, and this is even uh, related to um, uh, the outreach, mass mailer outreach. If you want to bring in the outreach as well, you'll, you'll be able to do that. And you can also bring in the uh, URL, if, uh, the URL that has been clicked. So various fields as you can see, this is quite easy. Uh, so just save this and that way it actually brings in all the data that you're looking for, right? Uh, and again, some of these fields may not have values. Uh, so if, if, uh, if you want, you can take them out, but let's keep it for now. Uh, and as you can see the, um, uh, so there are like various types of events as you can see, right? Um, and I'm kind of scrolling down. So this actually kind of gives you an idea on what event, uh, event uh, field values it, it can have. Uh, and I may not have every single thing here. Uh, so such as blocks may not be here, I'm sure. Um, you know, there are clicked events, I saw some click and there's a, a bounce event that I saw, which is a hard bounce, there's a open event. Uh, so if, if you just, bring in all the records uh, in your database. Uh, again, if you have millions of rows and it's not gonna bring in uh, all those records, just let you know. Uh, so it may just bring in some. Uh, so, but this kind of gives you an idea on what uh, it may have. And you can see that there's a reason field for the bounce as well. Um, and then uh, this also shows that it's a hard bounce. So if you look at the specific record, uh, just for the sake of understanding, 
the field values and everything. Uh, so you can see um, that it has values like uh, the type is pounds and the event is pounds, which is a hard pounds. The pounds type is a hard pounds as a reason field. Um, so this is what I was referring to. Uh, so if you now, if you want to kind of have, um, you know, the filters applied here for the uh, events uh, and the type, all you would do is you would again come back here. So I'm gonna uh, take out this filter. So this is all records. Now, if you actually want to know, okay, I want to figure out uh, what my bounces are, but these are hard bounces, right? Uh, so there are two ways to do it. Uh, so again, if you want all users, uh, so you can come over and then filter and then just say all um, and then done. You can apply the filter here. So for sure, the event has to be bounce, yeah, uh, which I talked about. And then um, uh, you can apply filter. The type also needs to be uh, bounce. Uh, so equals bounce. Uh, so that's called a hard bounce. So I saw that there was only one record though. Uh, so I would just go close this and then select fields to display. Uh, I'm gonna have the bounce type and also uh, the email, uh, say event. Uh, and the type uh, just for the sake of uh, clarity and save it. Uh, so this actually gives us the uh, event and the type and the bounce type, right, hard bounce. So now um, you can, I mean, you may just ask me, hey, why can't I just uh, filter by bounce type? It is possible, uh, no problem. You can actually just filter by uh, bounce type itself if you want to find out the bounce. But my goal was to kind of show you how this event and the type actually um, are uh, stored uh, for a hard bounce. Uh, and for the soft bounce, again, the type is gonna be uh, block, even though the event actually shows that it is bounce. Uh, I may not have um, any example, but I just want to kind of uh, show it to you if you ever wanted to find out. Um, I'll just call this as blocks. Um, and that is nothing but, um, um, I may have something already, seems like, so blocks. Uh, so if I show you the filters for this, uh, I have the type is block. I did not even actually capture the event uh, because I know that event is gonna be uh, bounce. And then uh, anyway, the type has to be block. If the type is block, then it is, uh, you know, a soft bounce. Uh, so uh, I may not have any records, but this is how you basically um, create it. And if you want to um, get this bounce type and the event and type and all of that, you can actually uh, do that and then just save it, right? And if you want to find out, uh, say, uh, unsubscribes, um, you know, global unsubscribes, right? Uh, so unsubscribes. So you just have to do that and then come here, uh, all, and then add a filter. Here, we're gonna do the event equals unsubscribe. And then save it. That actually brings in anyone uh, who actually unsubscribed. Um, so that's, uh, that's how you would do it, the unsubscribes. I know there's no data here. Uh, I could uh, try to do it in a different uh, system here. Let me just go here. I hope I have some data. So I call this is global unsubscribe. Save it. <clears throat> Okay, so we have some data here. You can always select fields to display, and then you can uh, bring in, uh, say, the event, uh, and then that actually shows the uh, the event uh, called unsubscribe. And if you want to bring in uh, the group unsubscribes, uh, that's uh, quite possible. Again, uh, I'm going to look for the data if I have any. Uh, if not, never mind, but at least you kind of understand uh, how this works. 
so unsubscribe, group unsubscribe, uh, and then you could actually just save it, and then just say save um, all, and then here we're gonna do the group. This ha this has to be something like this. So group unsubscribe, and then say done, and that should bring in the data. Probably we have some data, but it's not there. Never mind. Um, so uh, here you can have the um, uh, the event, and they got to be a field. Just looking for the actual the group name. Okay, so never mind. Uh, you would not be able to see the actual the group name here because that is part of um, uh, the suppressions. I'll talk about it in a moment. But you kind of get an idea if you want to find out uh, the group unsubscribe. You will have to do the group unsubscribe group underscore unsubscribe, and that will actually give you uh, the. Uh, email uh, status records related to the group and subscribe. And similarly, if you want to do the opens and clicks, I uh, would do the same thing. Uh, let's just say opens and clicks, maybe. Um, and then uh, you can save and the same thing. Uh, you would just say do that. And then here we're going to talk, uh, we're going to select uh, uh, the event. Uh, it could be open, comma, click done and then save it so that actually gives you um both of that and then you can always select our fields to display uh, you can either click the url uh, and an event and the time if you want it uh, so that actually gives you uh, the specific uh, event information you can also bring in the email address if you want and this is a click event and you can find out the click url uh, so basically that's how you can find out uh, which one is uh, what the mass mailer email status. Uh, so I think I pretty much covered, um, you know, all the status values. But again, if you uh, select all, it'll give you various types of um, uh, events, and then you'll be able to figure out from there. Uh, so that's um, email status. Now we'll move on to suppressions. Uh, so again, I'll go to the suppressions. Suppressions is nothing but anything that is hard bones and stuff like that. So. I'm gonna check if I have any. So suppression is not there in this system. So I go to the other instance, mass mailer suppressions. So uh, here I may see some data. Uh, and again, uh, as I mentioned, uh, let's just see. Okay, I have created something like invalid bounces and blocks. Uh, so again, this is the same thing. Uh, if you wanted to find out anything that is uh, say a bounce, uh, it'll uh, again give you the suppression type is uh, bounce. Uh, you can find out whether it is a hard bounce or a soft bounce um, by um, you know uh, selecting the type field as well. Uh, and then if you wanted to find out um, all the uh, say invalids, so if you select the invalid, it actually gives you the values. So let's just check the filters. So it seems like I don't have anything here, um, but again, if you wanted to find out uh, anything that's invalid, all you need to do is just go to the suppressions and then equals the suppression type uh, is what you're gonna, what you're gonna check uh, for the invalid. Uh, so here the fields are, I just want to show you. Uh, so we have the suppression type and the sub uh, type and the unsubscribe group. So if you ever wanted to find out um, let's say um, unsubscribes, let's just go create a brand new. Let's see controls unsubscribes. And then just save it. Uh, now we would do all and then our filter here. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna check this suppression type uh, equals unsubscribe. And subscribe, say down, and then save it. So that actually gives us all the unsubscribe. So you can um, select fields to display. Uh, you can have um, the uh, sufficient type, and then save it. And that should give you all the unsubscribes. And if you wanted to um, 
find out uh, the group unsubscribes. Uh, so I, again, I may not have data in this, uh, but you get an idea. So let's say group unsubscribes and then just save it. And then here I would do all and then filter. Uh, here I would call, uh, I would select this group uh, submission type, uh, group on sub done and then if you wanted to know uh, the fields the specific fields again you go there uh, you say submission type for sure and even the unsubscribe group uh, that way you actually know um, the unsubscribe the specific unsubscribe group again i may not have data in this apologies for that um, but you get an idea all you need to do is just say suppression type is group underscore unsubscribe and you can bring in the uh, actual value of the unsubscribe group as well um, and then uh, other ones that we talked about um, you know uh, let's just go back to this so you can have the bounds unsubscribe group unsubscribe you can find out invalid spam trap uh, do not email abuse uh, there's another one called uh, spam report uh, is also possible to do it. Um, okay. And then uh, so here uh, we, yeah, we got the bounce in the block and subscribe reply. Uh, so pretty much, I think we, you can also find out the failure, um, I forgot to mention. So it's very important. I think um, many times I noticed that um, uh, people wonder why there are some failures. Uh, so that's uh, a, that's an event that Mass Miller actually created failure. Uh, so Mass Miller email status. All you need to do is event. Uh, you can um, just find out uh, the event uh, equals failure. That'll give you the actual failure records. And then it's important for you to bring in the reason field as well. That way you know why it failed. Uh, so I just want to add that as well here. Uh, so I think we pretty much uh, covered all the events and the types. Uh, and I'm, in this like uh, webinar, I just focused only on the events and types and submission types. Uh, but as I mentioned, there are other fields that you can actually um, uh, really filter on. Um, you know, that could be uh, an account, maybe an outreach, maybe uh, maybe the subject. Uh, you know, the various other fields that you can apply as filters. Uh, but I thought maybe it's important to cover these, uh, the event type and suppression type filters. But uh, by now, I think you get an idea on how to apply filters for the other fields as well. Uh, so you just have to kind of play with this um, uh, list views. Uh, today, I'm, again, I just focused only on the list views. Uh, you can do the same thing even in reports as well. I already covered the reports overview in another webinar. Uh, if you want to take a look at that, you can always go to our YouTube channel. Um, but this is the simplest way for you to find out uh, certain records uh, for this uh, email events and the suppressions. Uh, any questions, um, feel free to ask me. You can uh, unmute yourself and then ask me a question. Okay, seems like uh, there are no questions. So once again, um, uh, this is a, a weekly webinar. Uh, thank you so much for joining the webinar today. Uh, you can now uh, join the next week's webinar um, that will be published on our website and also you'll receive an email on the same thing. I uh, will announce the topic um, and this video will be published on our YouTube channel as well. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact me or uh, the company email and the phone number. Everything is mentioned here. And this webinar is every Thursday at 9 a.m. Pacific. Thank you so much for joining the webinar. Have a great day or have a great night.